Right now, dozens of senators are demanding an audit of the 2020 presidential election results. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning. It's Sunday, January 3rd. I'm Gabriella Becerra. Right now, we're going to toss it over to meteorologist Dana Fulton, who has a look at our first foreign, first warm weather forecast. Dana? Hi, Gabby. Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. Right now, it's a little foggy outside. We do have dense fog advisories in effect for all of southern Wisconsin. In fact, this also stretches up into the northern portion of the state until noon. Our visibility is cut down quite a bit outside. This is a live look with our Edgewater Sky Cam of downtown. It's usually, of course, a much clearer picture for us, but visibility is down to about a mile and a quarter for us in Madison. Uh, and throughout the area, it's, it's really sliced. A quarter of a mile from much of Greene County into Lafayette County. Same goes for the southern portion of Grant County right now. And not only are we dealing with those reduced visibilities, we also have some freezing fog and spots. So please, if you're trying to get started early today yourself plenty of time on the roads and plan on going just a little slower our temperatures right now close to 20 plus or minus a degree or two depending on which side of town you're on and they're very close to our dew points they're both in the same spot so that's helping to fuel the fog and also with our, our snowpack on the ground starting to melt just a little bit it's just a cycle where we're continuing to see this dense fog form so our advisory goes all the way until noon once we get through noon these mostly cloudy skies will likely become partly sunny with the cloudy skies right now we're not seeing anything on radar but i wouldn't be surprised if we do have a few freezing drizzle spots kind of mixed in with that freezing fog this morning later today some sunshine and we will get sun trying to start the work week, but we'll take a closer look at your full forecast in just a few minutes, Gabby. Thank you, Dana. A candlelight vigil was held Saturday in Rockford to honor the victims of last Saturday's shooting at a bowling alley. These things go on because people are deranged in their head. Some things happen, but we don't let that stop us from enjoying life we're not going when when the when the virus is gone. We're going to feel done carting all 42 lanes up again. Three people were killed and three others were injured when a gunman opened fire inside Don Carter Lane's last Saturday night. 37-year-old Duke Webb faces three counts of murder and three counts of first-degree attempted murder in connection to the shooting. He remains in custody without bail. The Kenosha County DA says he will deliver his decision about the shooting of Jacob Blake later this month. The Kenosha Common Council agenda also lists an emergency declaration that officials can use to preemptively address potential civil unrest following a decision. Police shot Blake in August. Protests erupted around the state and across the U.S. as a result. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's home has been vandalized with graffiti. The words, where's my money, left on his front door Saturday. Expletives were also written on the house. The graffiti is likely a reference to McConnell blocking the delivery of a $2,000 stimulus check to qualifying Americans Friday. McConnell released a statement Saturday saying vandalism and politics of fear have no place in our society. Control over the U.S. Senate is at stake in two days in Georgia. The two runoff elections in the state will determine the Senate's balance of power. Two of the candidates, jo Democratic John Osif and Republican Senator Kelly Loeffler, spoke at rallies Saturday morning. The whole country is watching us. The whole country is watching you. Georgia has so much power right now. Georgia voters have so much power right now. And after four years of hatred and racism and division and bigotry, Georgia is going to make a statement about love and decency and compassion and unity. Because that's what Georgia stands for. Are you ready to show America that Georgia is a red state? Yes! We're going to get it done. We have a lot of work to do. It's going to be a busy weekend for y'all. You know why? Because you're, we're going to do exactly what Ted said. We're going to call everyone they know, we know, and make sure that they get out and vote for David Perdue and Kelly Leffler. That's why I didn't...
Democrats President Trump and President-elect Biden are both expected to rally more supporters in the state on Monday, one day before Tuesday's elections. More than 3 million Georgians voted ahead of the elections. The Georgia Secretary of State's office says that number includes mail-in and in-person voting. As of Saturday, more than 400,000 requested absentee ballots are still outstanding. Total turnout in the 2020 presidential election in Georgia topped 5 million. A group of Republican senators, including Wisconsin's Ron Johnson, now plans to object President-elect Joe Biden's Electoral College win. The dozen senators are demanding an audit of the 2020 presidential election results. CBS News' Tom Hansen explains. Eleven of President Trump's Senate Republican allies announced a last-ditch effort to challenge President-elect Joe Biden's election victory. In a joint statement Saturday, the senators, including Ted Cruz of Texas and Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee, acknowledged their efforts have almost no chance of changing the outcome. They wrote, we are not naive. We fully expect most, if not all, Democrats and perhaps more than a few Republicans to vote otherwise. But support of election integrity should not be a partisan issue. This audit will answer the questions as to why happened in some of the disputed states. Of course, Pennsylvania, there are so many questions around Pennsylvania. Amy Klobuchar, the ranking Democrat on the Senate Rules Committee with jurisdiction over federal elections, said in a statement, Joe Biden will be inaugurated on January 20th, and no publicity stunt will change that. Earlier this week, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley sided with a group of House conservatives who want to prompt a debate and put the results up for vote. This is the only opportunity that I have to be heard and to speak up on behalf of my constituents. Congress convenes Wednesday to certify the electoral vote, normally a formality. But President Trump's unsubstantiated claims of fraud leave some Republicans under pressure to question the results. Vice President Mike Pence will preside over the counting of the votes. He and the Justice Department asked a Texas federal judge to throw out a long-shot lawsuit aimed at empowering him to overturn the results. Late Friday, the judge dismissed that case. Tom Hansen, CBS News. The Biden team called the group's plan a stunt, saying the president-elect will be inaugurated on January 20th. Senator Johnson spoke Saturday about allegations of voter fraud with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Johnson said allegations need to be investigated and that there's a large percentage of the population who doesn't view the 2020 election as legitimate. He also said he's not going to do what Democrats and many in the media want him to do, which he says is to just shut up, sweep all of this under the rug, and move on. President Trump and his allies have lost nearly 50 lawsuits since the end of the election alleging widespread voter fraud. That includes two losses in the U.S. Supreme Court and several at the state level right here in Wisconsin. Coming up, how a new round of government stimulus checks triggers more cons. Here's a live look outside and Dana is tracking your Sunday morning forecast up next. through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. It's Steinhoffel's three-day New Year's sale. Save 35% off store-wide and pay no interest until 2026 with our five-year special financing. Or take advantage of these great deals like any size Sealy, just $99. Or this Chase Sofa, just $6.99. A queen bed, now $8.99. A family size dining set, only $8.99. Start the new year off and save big during Steinhoffel's three-day New Year's sale. Only at Steinhoffel's and Steinhoffel's.com. Pick up the latest issue of Madison Magazine for our top nurses tribute. A wake-up call on domestic abuse during COVID. Why more locals are saying bye-bye to booze. And exciting new monthly features. Madison Magazine on Newsstands Now. Wisconsin weather can be frustrating. Get the latest forecast, alerts, and detailed traffic reports from the News 3 Now team on air, online, and download the Channel 3000 First Born app. Be the first to know what's headed our way. 
accurate news as it happens. Right here, where you live. Information that you can use from the team you can trust. For more local stories that impact your life, News 3 Now. Away from your TV? Not a problem. Get breaking news, weather alerts, and political coverage from the award-winning News 3 Now team. Plus, all things Madison. Stay connected anywhere with Channel 3000, Madison's number one digital news source. Get more local news now with Channel 3000 Plus, our free digital streaming service that brings you area news and info 24-7 from the News 3 Now team. Channel 3000 Plus. Download it today and watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. If I could go back and change it all, I would. I would. I think I'm going to miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Or maybe it's just a little moment. I could go back and change, I could go back and change it all. If I could go back, I would. But I can't. everyone it is a little foggy outside not going to see much of that sunrise for us today we do have a dense fog advisory in effect for all of southern wisconsin that extends actually through much of the state as we are seeing visibility really slice down much of the area down to just a mile or two or even less so if you are trying to head out the door early, please make sure you give yourself uh, plenty of space between you and the car in front of you and a little extra time likely to get to your destination because this visibility is reduced and we're also seeing some freezing fog in spots. Temperatures are in the low 20s. That is a live look at downtown right now. So you can see the fog not getting any better for us. That dense fog advisory does go until noon and we're likely going to be seeing conditions like this at least for the next few hours with temps close to our dew points until we start to see a little bit of a warm up later on today. We'll climb to the upper 20s for our afternoon highs with partly sunny skies expected later this afternoon. So once the fog does clear, we get a little bit of clearing in the sky. It is just a morning event for the fog chances. Tomorrow, plan on partly sunny skies. It'll actually stay that way for Tuesday also. So we, we start the week off and dry. And then by Wednesday, our next chance for some light snow will build in. Right now, it doesn't look like a big system, but we'll bring light snow showers for Wednesday and Thursday. Overall, seasonably cool temperatures expected for next week and heading into the following weekend and the following weeks. So we fall into a bit of a pattern where it's just very January-like outside. Uh, we aren't seeing any big jumps or drops with our, our temperature trend. Radar is overall quiet. You notice a few little uh, speckled blue spots there. Might see a few freezing drizzle or flurry places with that freezing fog coming through. Again, nothing that's really gonna lead to much accumulation, but you might notice it if you're, you're standing outside and just feels a little misty. Cloudy skies this morning, later this afternoon, we are expecting skies to become partly sunny for Monday. will also be partly sunny outside. Temperatures early in the day, a little cool, but those afternoon highs will be climbing up into the 30s. So we will be trending above average as we look ahead to the work week. And that temperature trend in our eight to 14 day outlook, likely that we will continue to trend above average. Precipitation though, a little drier outside will be trending in the other direction as we really don't have a lot of opportunities for any sort of moisture or precipitation to build in. Other than that snow chance that we're expecting to see for Wednesday and Thursday, and even that's not a, a really big chance for us right now. Overall dry, we do have the fog for this morning. Again, a dense fog advisory in effect until noon. Later on this afternoon, we might get a little bit of sunshine coming through. Sun expected for Monday and Tuesday, and temperatures staying in the 30s for afternoon highs. Overnight lows will be close to 20 through the work week. With a new round of stimulus checks going out, the Better Business Bureau is warning us to look out for a new round of scams. The BBB says it is already getting reports of con artists claiming that you need to provide personal information to receive the stimulus funds. Scammers are contacting people through text messages, email, and robocalls about the new COVID-19 stimulus checks and direct deposits. Consumer advocates say you should not reply to any of these messages. These are not, there are no processing fees in 
involved with the stimulus and payments, uh, beware of anyone asking you to pay first. If you have doubts, find the government agency's contact information on their website and contact them directly. Bitcoin's value is at a record high. One Bitcoin is worth more than $32,000 as of Saturday evening. The virtual currency tripled in value during 2020. Investors have been adding it to their portfolios as the U.S. dollar has weakened. Bitcoin's popularity could grow more if the Federal Reserve maintains low interest rates as expected. Coming up, why football players may not realize just how dangerous their sport is. The morning's top health stories are just ahead on News 3 Now this morning. Go to Amazon.com skills to enable Channel 3000 news briefs. High Point Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. You can still enjoy our award-winning steak dinners with our new takeout and delivery service. We call it the High Point Steakout. Call in your order today. This is the big one, folks. The Brothers Main Everything's on Sale sale. Get huge clearance prices on every brand in the store with 0% financing for up to 18 months. Only Main delivers more satisfaction every day, like a risk-free 30-day price satisfaction guarantee, giving you 100% confidence in your purchase. How's that for more? The Everything's on Sale sale with more selection, more savings, and more happy homes on everything. Now at the Brothers Main, your local store for more since 1938. Connect with News 3 Now on Facebook Messenger to create a personalized news feed just for you. The topics you want, the day's top stories, and push alerts for breaking news all through Messenger. Learn more at channel3000.com. Waking up to stuff like this should never be a surprise. Watch News 3 Now first warm weather so you always know what's headed our way. We all love reading the magazine, but did you know there's additional exclusive Madison Magazine content here on channel3000.com. Click on Madison Magazine for timely food stories and blogs on the local food scene that don't appear in the magazine. Find arts and entertainment and interesting Madisonians. There are featured columnists and online extras like photo galleries and videos. Channel 3000 and Madison Magazine. Together, they're your one source for all things Madison. My mother was always very familiar with her neighborhood, but one day she stopped at the stop sign for much longer than usual, and uh, she didn't know whether she should go forward or, or turn, and she wasn't even really sure where she was at. It was very unsettling for her. I felt so much better after my son told me, Mom, I don't want you to worry or be afraid. I'll be there for you, and we'll figure it out. Steakhouse, Southern Wisconsin's premier supper club. You can still enjoy our award-winning steak dinners with our new takeout and delivery service. We call it the High Point Steakout. Call in your order today. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everyone. We do have quite a bit of fog to start off our Sunday. A dense fog advisory in effect for all of Southern Wisconsin until noon as visibility has been sliced down quite a bit. Temperatures are close to our dew points and that snowpack on the ground is just helping to fuel those fog chances uh, and some freezing fog in spots also. Now, later this afternoon, we are expecting our skies to become partly sunny. We'll be partly sunny to start off the work week with a chance for some snow starting to develop for Wednesday and Thursday. Right now, it doesn't look like a big system bringing in uh, too much of a snow chance for us, but some light snow possible for the middle of the week. That temperature trend stays in the 30s for the work week, so we trend a little bit above average, and that will continue as we look ahead to the following week in the middle of January. Thank you, Dana. What the federal food guidelines are now telling new parents and football players may not realize just how dangerous their sport is. Elise Preston takes a look at this week's top health stories. As the college football season nears its end, a study from the University of Colorado says many players don't fully recognize their odds of suffering a serious injury. 
In a survey of athletes at four different schools, 63% underestimated their risk of concussion. There's a fine line between a casual smoker and a nicotine addict. Researchers at Penn State found many who smoke just one to four cigarettes a day still meet the criteria for nicotine addiction and should consider treatment. And the federal government has updated its dietary guidelines. For the first time, they include recommendations for babies and toddlers. Parents are advised to feed only breast milk to newborns for at least six months. And children under two should never be given foods with added sugar. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. A scientist and inventor who's taking on some of the world's biggest problems, and she's only 15. Adriana Diaz reports. There are some stories you do, and you know you'll be back for a sequel. In 2017, we introduced you to then 12-year-old Gitanjali Rao. She'd invented a lead testing kit. Imagine living day in and day out, drinking contaminated water with dangerous substances like lead. Inspired by the water crisis in Flint, Michigan. Our water quality is just as important as doctor appointments or dentist appointments. I've never tested my water. That's a big problem. <laughs> We ended that 2017 piece asking, what will she do next? Well, this was next. This month, she was named Time Magazine's first ever Kid of the Year. Has it sunken in yet, or are you still flying high? I'm still flying high. Now 15 years old, she beat out 5,000 others, not just for the lead testing kit, but she's also created apps to fight cyberbullying and opioid addiction. And she inspires others through workshops reaching tens of thousands. I think it's kind of crazy to me that I never thought to use a virtual video conferencing tool. And now that we're in the pandemic, it just seems like common sense. Her new title even came with an interview by Angelina Jolie. Where are you right now? Um, I'm in Denver, Colorado. She might seem at the top of her game, but she has big plans for science, especially after this year. We've already made the world such a better place with getting a vaccine together in nine months. I think we should continue innovating with these ideas, and it gives all of us a place for one common goal. And I think that that's really what COVID-19 has helped us out through. With 2021 on the way, take comfort. Teenage scientist Gitanjali Rao is on the rise. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Chicago. There's a half hour of news still ahead of us here on News 3 Now this morning, Sunday. Next, we're running through this morning's top stories. Plus, legendary talk show host Larry King is in the hospital battling COVID-19. We will have the details when we come back. Furnish your home in good taste with Pletz Furniture. Shop for new ideas from a large selection of quality name brands in stock and ready for delivery, including Lazy Boy, Sealy, and Amish Made Furniture. Pletz Furniture in downtown Baraboo. Quality furniture at lowest prices. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. A surprise party, a wedding proposal, an unexpected bonus at work. Some surprises are awesome, but this? Weather like this should never be a surprise. Not when you watch News 3 Now, where you get an accurate, reliable forecast so you're never caught off guard by the weather. Need to get up early to shovel, add time to your commute, wear boots, rebook a flight? Let News 3 Now first-born weather give you everything you need to know so you can plan your life. At News 3 Now, we've been asking Nintendo viewers to rescan TVs in order to receive our boosted broadcast signal. If you're still experiencing problems after rescanning, you may need to install a UHF VHF combined antenna. For more information, please go to channel3000.com. News 3 Now this morning brought together chefs and owners from struggling local restaurants. Without assistance, a lot of us aren't going to exist in 2021. Your holiday helpings are already making a difference, and continued support can help keep these vital community businesses alive. Learn more at channel3000.com. News 3 Now and Channel 3000 put top stories and breaking news at your fingertips. Video alerts and forecasts, simple and fast. Download the Channel 3000 app today. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but one of the teachers was uh, Miss Araceli. She gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing, and she'll sit there with you until you get it. 
50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Furnish your home in good taste with Pletz Furniture. Shop for new ideas from a large selection of quality name brands in stock and ready for delivery, including Lazy Boy, Sealy, and Amish Made Furniture. Pletz Furniture in downtown Baraboo. Quality furniture at lowest prices. On the next Live at Four, we'll meet our Pet of the Week from the Dane County Humane Society. And film critic Will Loper will run down all the new movies and streaming shows you might want to check out. Waking up to stuff like this should never be a surprise. Download the Channel 3000 First Warn app and be ready for whatever Mother Nature throws our way. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning. It's Sunday, January 3rd. I'm Gabriela Becerra. We're going to start with a look at our weather. Dana, it's awfully chilly out there. It is. It is chilly outside right now, and it's also very foggy. We're starting the day off with a dense fog advisory for our entire viewing area, and that also stretches up into northern Wisconsin. Uh, our visibility has been reduced quite a bit for us right now. Here is a live look at downtown with our Edgewater Skycam. Usually we can see the Capitol building and that's just not the case for us this morning. You can see a very thick cloud coverage or fog coverage for us uh, for downtown Madison and through most of Dane County and Rock County and Greene County. Uh, that extends off to the southwest corner of the state where we're seeing visibilities near Mineral Point and Platteville at about a quarter of a mile. Part of that due to the fact our temperature is very close to our dew points. Like you said, it is chilly outside. We're near 20 degrees plus or minus a degree or two and that's very close to where our dew points are at right now. That coupled with the snowpack that we have on the ground, just kind of fueling the fog a little more. So we have dense fog throughout the area. We also have freezing fog in spots. So you want to give yourself a little extra time if you're trying to start your day early because uh, that visibility is cut down. We could see some slick spots on the road also with our, our freezing fog and the potential for a few little freezing drizzle areas. Right now, radar is not really picking up much. Uh, but there is the chance to see some freezing drizzle or flurries as we get through the next few hours with this fog hanging around. But later today, we will see the sun come back out. We'll take a closer look at your full 10 day in just a few minutes, Gabby. Thank you, Dana. New this morning, authorities are investigating after a 35-year-old woman's body was found in the Fox River Saturday afternoon. The Green Lake Sheriff's Office says it responded to an area of the Fox River in St. Marie Township. Officials say the woman was painting outside with her two dogs. A caller reported her missing around 1230. Deputies say her body was discovered downstream about three quarters of a mile from where she was painting. They have not said how she might have ended up in the water. Turning to our coronavirus headlines, Wisconsin is reporting another big drop in new cases. DHS and county dashboards show just more than 1,000 new cases over the past day, and that's more than 700 fewer than Friday. No new deaths are being reported, while 26,000 of the state's 484,000 all-time cases remain active. Legendary talk show host Larry King is in the hospital battling COVID-19. King has reportedly been, in ho been hospitalized in Los Angeles for more than a week, and due to protocols in the hospital, his three sons have been unable to visit him. The 87-year-old was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2017 and underwent a procedure to treat it in 2019. He hosted Larry King Live on CNN for 25 years before retiring in 2010. COVID-19 has killed nearly 350,000 Americans, while more than 20 million in the U.S. have contracted the virus. And now a new strain has been discovered in a third state. CBS News's Elise Preston has more. A new, apparently more contagious strain of the coronavirus has been found in a third state, Florida. The man in his 20s had no history of travel. Merrill Peterkin, who lives in Martin County, where the new variant was discovered, went for a test on New Year's Day. It's changing. It's, it's morphing. So I'm not surprised, and you have to take it very seriously. First seen in the UK, the strain was detected in Colorado and California earlier this week. In California, COVID-19 is on a rampage, averaging more than 250 deaths a day, 
a 300% increase from a month ago. In the epicenter of Los Angeles, someone is dying from the virus every 10 minutes, and many hospitals are overwhelmed. It's like treading water from 100 feet below the surface. You're already drowning, but you just have to keep trying because that's what you can do. As states struggle to inoculate more Americans, police say a Wisconsin pharmacist admitted to tampering with more than 500 doses of the Moderna vaccine. The Grafton resident was arrested. Grafton is such a tight community that would never expect something like that to happen. Across the U.S. Friday, New Year's Day traditions were canceled, including Pasadena, California's Rose Parade. <laughs> This group of car enthusiasts held a caravan instead. We can safely distance six feet apart from each other in our cars with masks on. Since it began in 1890, the Rose Parade has been canceled only three times before this year, all during World War II. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. New data from the CDC says only 4.2 million vaccine doses have been administered so far. The Trump administration had hoped to have 20 million Americans receive a vaccine by the start of 2021. More local news now. A group of protesters marched around the state capitol building as part of the 2021 March for Life. In the new year, supporters say they want to see action to end abortion taken in the legislature. Pro-life Wisconsin State Director Dan Miller says he's hopeful that the U.S. Supreme Court will choose to overturn turn Roe v. Wade, but he says he's not holding his breath. I would rather see uh, our president uh, pass an executive order like Lincoln did to free the slaves, the Emancipation Proclamation, and to, uh, to free the preborn babies. Meanwhile, Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin was in federal court last month attempting to improve access to abortions. Hundreds of people gathered in Rockford to remember the victims who lost their life in a shooting. Community and city leaders say this tragedy does not define us. Brandon Giese reports. Hundreds make their way to the Don Carter Lanes parking lot to remember the victims who lost their life in a shooting here just a week ago. The message from community and city leaders is this tragedy does not define us. The tragic events that occurred right here last week have forever altered our lives. We will never forget the people who were taken from us, and our hearts are broken. Grief, sadness, and pain weigh heavy on the minds of many in the Rockford region. As people begin to mourn the loss of loved ones, the message from local leaders. Please know that as difficult as these times are for you and your families, you are not alone, even though it may seem at times that you are alone. You are not alone. You have 147,000 Rock 40 and standing right by your side. Family members of the three men who died in the shooting, Dennis Steinhoff, Jerome Woodfork, and Thomas Furseth, lined the front of the vigil while prayers... And grant each and every one of us peace. Amen. And song... How sweet the sound. Are heard. When I thought about Jerome, I looked up the word legend. Because he was a legend. The definition I found was an extremely famous or notorious person, especially in a particular field. He was notorious. Owner of Don Carter Lane's Brad Summer says the effects of the shooting are felt by many, including his family and staff. I'd like to thank the staff that was on duty that night. You guys were amazing. Some of you were able to usher people to safety. Some of you were able to try to go get police assistance. And as heads bow, prayers are said and a community rallies to support people who feel the impact of the shooting every single day. I want you to take these words with you. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. The Miracle Mile Foundation did pair up with Illinois Bank and Trust to set up a fund for victims. For more information on how to contribute to that fund, visit our website, wifr.com. Coming up, why the Badgers basketball team will not play Penn State today as scheduled. Plus, a list of new shows streaming this weekend. That's next on News 3 Now this Sunday morning. 
Don't miss the Smith Brothers Factory Authorized New Year's Sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! Finally home. <sighs> okay, let's go. Come on. Yeah. Welcome to the final days of Toyotathon. Here for a great deal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the wait is over. Oh, Camry. <gasps> yes. Right now, during Toyotathon, you can get 0.9% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Camry or 2021 RAV4. You can get a great deal too at Toyotathon, but it all ends January 4th. Toyota, let's go places. Accurate news as it happens. We want to make sure our vaccination sites are ready. Right here, where you live. Nearly half of Dane County's total COVID deaths have come in the last month. Information that you can use. These case counts are still testing our public health system and straining our hospital system. From the team you can trust. So many generous people are willing to help us. For more local stories that impact your life, News 3 Now. Pick up the latest issue of Madison Magazine for our top nurses tribute. A wake-up call on domestic abuse during COVID. Why more locals are saying bye-bye to booze. And exciting new monthly features. Madison Magazine on newsstands now. Wisconsin weather can be frustrating. Get the latest forecast, alerts, and detailed traffic reports from the News 3 Now team on air, online, and download the Channel 3000 First Born app. Be the first to know what's headed our way. Get more local news now with Channel 3000 Plus, our free digital streaming service that brings you area news and info 24-7 from the News 3 Now team. Channel 3000 Plus. Download it today and watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. Away from your TV? Not a problem. Get breaking news, weather alerts, and political coverage from the award-winning News 3 Now team. Plus all things Madison. Stay connected anywhere with Channel 3000, Madison's number one digital news source. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly Lights out. Good night. and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Don't miss the Smith Brothers Factory Authorized New Year's Sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! Good morning, everyone. It is foggy outside today as we take a live look at downtown Madison with our Edgewater Skycam. Really can't see much of downtown this morning because we do have that dense fog throughout the area. And in fact, as we take a broader look throughout Platteville, even with our Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam, a, a very foggy scene there as well. A dense fog advisory in effect until noon as our temperatures are close to our dew points and that uh, snowpack that we have on the ground just helping to fuel the fog. So visibility is cut, but we also have some freezing fog in the areas so that might make roads a little slick if you're trying to head out early or for your Sunday. I do know that later this afternoon, we will get a little bit of clearing, some sun expected later this afternoon, but we will take a closer look at a full 10 day in just a few minutes. Thank you, Dana. Superman takes a focus on his home life in an upcoming CW series, and Fran Lebowitz has opinions on all things New York in the new Netflix docu-series, Pretend It's a City. Chris Martinez has those stories and more in today's Eye on Entertainment. Superman faces his greatest challenge yet, fatherhood, in the upcoming series, Superman and Lois. But as we grow, Life changes us. After years of facing the world's greatest supervillains, the new series sees the Man of Steel married to famous journalist Lois Lane. Together, the two working parents must navigate raising two sons who could inherit their father's gifts. Superman and Lois premieres February 23rd on The CW. 
Tilda Swinton is a woman scorned by an ex-lover in the upcoming short film, The Human Voice. Director Pedro Almodovar's first English language film follows a woman and her dog who both have been abandoned. First premiering at the Venice Film Festival, the movie is only 30 minutes long. The Human Voice will be released in theaters March 5th. And wander the streets of New York City with lifelong New Yorker Fran Lebowitz in the upcoming docuseries, Pretend It's a City. It would take one subway ride for the Dalai Lama to turn into a lunatic, <laughs> raging person. The series from director Martin Scorsese explores the ups and downs of New York City with famed humorist Lebowitz as the guide. Pretend It's a City starts streaming on Netflix January 8th. That's your Eye on Entertainment. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. Fresh off Wednesday's win in the Duke's Mayo Bowl, the Badgers received good news this morning with a trio of stars opting to return for another season in Madison. The three players are linebacker Jake, Jack Sanborn, tight end Jake Ferguson, and cornerback Fion Hicks. All three seniors had the option to declare for the NFL draft. On the hardwood, Wisconsin will not play Penn State today as scheduled. The game between the Badgers and the Nittany Lions is the first Big Ten Conference game to be postponed this season. Wisconsin announced the postponement on Twitter, saying it was mutually agreed upon by both teams. They did not say whether players or staff members on either team tested positive, but did say they will try to reschedule this game for later this season. The Packers have officially placed David Battiari on injured reserve. Green Bay made the announcement Saturday and the star left tackle injured his knee during Thursday's practice. He will miss the rest of the season. With an open roster spot, the Packers promoted offensive lineman Ben Braden from the practice squad. The Packers still have a big game this afternoon in Chicago. If Green Bay wins, the Packers cinch the top seed in the NFC home field advantage throughout the playoffs. But right now, the team says its focus is on the Bears. They obviously have a lot to play for this week, just like we do. So it's, it's going to be a heck of a matchup. Um, and it has been for a number of years, even when, you know, they weren't doing so hot. Their defense has always been um, well coached, um, stout. They've been... Um, good on third down, you know, some, they, they've been um, a team that, you know, you got to prepare for. Kickoff is set for 325 this afternoon from Soldier Field. If the Packers win, they won't play again until the weekend of January 16th. And if the Bears win, they clinch a spot in the playoffs. You're looking live over the Capitol, and Dana is back with a look ahead at our work week forecast next on News 3 Now this morning. But first, let's look who's three today. Before you make plans, download the Channel 3000 First Warn Weather app. Do you take daily prescription pain medications, but they don't help enough? Do you want more options to better manage chronic pain? University of Wisconsin-Madison Stamp Study offers free, safe, therapeutic programs to address chronic pain. The programs occur once a week for eight weeks and pays up to $340. Call 608-212-6902 today. Again, that's 608-212-6902. Winona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection is here 24 hours a day. Seven days a week for all your residential and commercial plumbing services. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, we've got you covered. Visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Today, you can turn your home into a university. And you can turn a lasting career into reality. With Herzing University, you can earn a degree in today's hottest fields. Anytime, online. Herzing is recognized, accredited, experienced, and transfer-friendly with more than 90% student satisfaction. For a limited time, we'll waive your enrollment fee. See what your career can turn into with Herzing University. I'm possible at Herzing. Call or click today. 
When we hear a big storm's headed our way, some of us fall back into bed, some into fresh powder. Spending your day indoors or out, it's all about knowing what to expect. Watch News 3 Now for an accurate first warm forecast so you can plan your perfect day. Finding the right ingredients for a healthy lifestyle can be tricky. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are here to help. Our Time for Kids recipe for health experts use online conversations and on-air reports to answer your health questions. So tell us, what topics would your family like to hear about? What questions do you have? Use the handy feedback form on our Time for Kids page to share what matters most to your family's health. And together, let's take time for kids. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everyone. We have dense fog outside throughout the area. If you've taken a quick look out the window, you've probably noticed it. We do have a dense fog advisory in effect until noon, and our visibilities have been reduced significantly throughout the area. We're down to zero for Mineral Point, so much of Iowa County included in that. Platteville down to about a quarter of a mile and a half mile for Monroe and much of Greene County. So if you are planning uh, anything early to get on the roads, know that you might want to give yourself a little extra time with that visibility being cut down. Also the potential for some freezing fog. So we could see some slick spots out there this morning. Here's a live look at downtown Madison. Temperatures are right at our dew points. That's part of the reason we're seeing the fog. Also because we have that snowpack on the ground. So it's just fueling the fog, uh, make it a little more dense for us to start the day. Temperatures this afternoon will be in the upper 20s. We're expecting those high temperatures to start to trend a little more above average by the work week. Sunshine later on today. Day, partly sunny skies, sunny skies expected for Tuesday and, and Monday with our next chance for light snow Wednesday and Thursday in the middle of the week. Radar overall is quiet, even with the cloud coverage overhead. Might see a few freezing drizzle or flurry spots, but that shouldn't add up to uh, much of anything. Just feels a little misty outside at times. The cloud coverage clears out, gives us a bit of sun later in the day. For your Monday morning, temperatures will be dropping to the teens early on, and then in the afternoon, highs will be climbing above average with partly sunny skies to start off our work week. Our temperature trend in the 8 to 14 day outlook, likely that will be trending above average, but below average with our precipitation trend, uh, looking at that same period with moves us into the middle of January. Now we will see a little bit of clearing later today. Again, temperatures for the work week in the 30s and those overnight lows will generally be at least staying in the teens. So we don't have to worry about any cool single digit nights for us, Gabby is great to hear Dana. The coronavirus pandemic couldn't stop one popular New Year's Day tradition in Milwaukee. Dozens of brave souls splashed into Lake Michigan for the annual polar bear plunge. Hillary Mintz has the story. <laughs> Happy 2021! The heck with 2020! As the man in the polar bear suit sounded his trombone, <laughs> there were cheers. Happy New Year! Ready to go in. We're doing it. And then the cheers. <laughs> the trombone played on. They got in. They got wet and got out pretty fast. Yay! How did it feel? Refreshing. Happy New Year. I'm freezing. I'm really cold because it's only my second time going in. So, uh, right now I can't feel my fingers, but it's exhilarating. Awesome! 2021! The thrill of putting one of the hardest years in the past. Some ushered in the new year with a splash and a dunk. How cold was it? Very! Very cold. Why are you doing this? Uh, why not? Start a new year off in a great way, right? This is our 27th year. Okay. And uh, three years ago, it was five below. And one uh, year, it was all ice. 
From freezing to warm, take a look at this koala was spotted wandering a main beach along Apollo Bay, a town 95 ma miles southwest of Melbourne along Australia's Great Ocean Road on Tuesday. Video and photos obtained by Reuters show the koala ambling along the beach and stepping across surfboards as beachgoers watch. At one point, it sat in the water to rest near the excited crowd and amateur photographer Kim Bedford was at the beach with her family when the koala emerged from the trees in nearby sand dunes. Make News 3 now part of your weekly routine by downloading the Channel 3000 app for the latest headlines and weather conditions 24-7. Coming up later this morning, catch For the Record on News 3 now. Here's Amy Reed with a preview of what's on this Sunday. Outgoing state Senator Fred Risser has given 64 years to his state legislature, more than anyone else ever in our country. Later this morning, we'll talk with him about what he's noticed change in politics and what's next for him in 2021. For the record, that's this morning at 1030. It's the Ayers Furniture New Year's Sale with huge savings on quality name brands, including Lazy Boy, with recliners starting at $3.99 and Smith Brothers Amish handcrafted sofas at special New Year's Sale prices. Ayers Furniture with free delivery. The New Year's Sale. Don't miss it. through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. At News 3 Now, we've been asking antenna viewers to rescan TVs in order to receive our boosted broadcast signal. If you're still experiencing problems after rescanning, you may need to install a UHF-VHF combined antenna. For more information, please go to channel3000.com. Get more local news now with Channel 3000 Plus, our free digital streaming service that brings you area news and info 24-7 from the News 3 Now team. Channel 3000 Plus. Download it today and watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. Who's most at risk for coronavirus? People over 65, people with underlying medical conditions like heart disease, chronic lung disease, asthma, diabetes, people undergoing cancer treatment, and people with weakened immune systems. What should you do if you or a loved one is at higher risk? Avoid close contact with people. Avoid crowds. Stay home if you can. Wash your hands frequently. Learn more ways to protect yourself and others at coronavirus.gov. News 3 Now and Channel 3000 put top stories and breaking news at your fingertips. Video alerts and forecasts, simple and fast. Download the Channel 3000 app today. Finding the right ingredients for a healthy lifestyle can be tricky. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are here to help. Our Time for Kids Recipe for Health experts use online conversations and on-air reports to answer your health questions. So tell us, what topics would your family like to hear about? What questions do you have? Use the handy feedback form on our Time for Kids page to share what matters most to your family's health. And together, let's take time for kids. We've always had villains to face. Bad guys to take down. But you. You are the most horrible of all. We're not here because we have to be. We're here because we've had enough of you. Every single one of us is mortal. But inside of us, we're all heroes. So stand up with us. Stand up to fight. Stand up to cancer. Visit StandUpToCancer.org to learn more. It's the Ayers Furniture New Year's Sale with huge savings on quality name brands, including Sealy, with queen-size sets starting at $3.99 and flex steel sofas starting at $9.99. Ayers Furniture with free delivery. The New Year's Sale ends Sunday at 4. 
surprise party, a wedding proposal, an unexpected bonus at work. Some surprises are awesome, but this? Weather like this should never be a surprise. Not when you watch News 3 Now, where you get an accurate, reliable forecast so you're never caught off guard by the weather. Need to get up early to shovel, add time to your commute, wear boots, rebook a flight? Let News 3 Now first warn weather give you everything you need to know so you can plan your life. Finally this morning, for many people, the indoor isolation during COVID has been a challenge, and one teen in Alaska realized that being outdoors was just what she needed to feel herself during the pandemic. Taylor Clark reports. She's just having all kinds of fun. I can see the smile on her face right now. That's Rebecca Tyler they're talking about on the loudspeaker. A lot's happened since then, like COVID-19, which she says took that smile away for a little bit. And I definitely struggled with motivation. I had a lot of days where I didn't get outside and I didn't feel like going outside or doing anything like that. One day over the summer, she says she woke up in her house in Girdwood, snapped out of it, and got her fat bike out. It's been really important for my mental health, I think, and um, that's kind of why I started this whole thing was just because I think that fresh air and just like clearing your head was so important for me. The thing she's referring to is this website, Big Air Becca. She says it was a school project to learn about web design at first, and now it's dedicated to raising funds to help other kids do what she did and go outside. Anything from gear to like transportation or instruction is really what we're kind of all about. By selling merch and collecting donations, she's already raised about $1,000. Come here. Some of which definitely requires some adult supervision. She's not old enough to have a bank account or a credit card processing platform, so I'm um, just getting some of that stuff set up on her behalf. Ethan Tyler says that's about all he did. Although he is the guy that got her excited about being outside in the first place. When this video was taken, he didn't know such a good, big idea would come from that little skier. I think uh, stand behind your kids when they've got big ideas and you'd be surprised at what they come up with. Especially when it's about helping others. I think it meant a lot to me is mostly what it was. It was more than just like a school project. One she says won't be done after it's turned in. It's National Straw Day. Modern, drinkers, modern drinking straws have been around since the 19th century when Marvin Stone invented the paper version in 1888. But the concept dates back to 3000 BC. Plastic straws have come under fire recently because they are blamed for harming wildlife after people throw them away. You could be responsible by using paper kind or by buying your own reusable steel straw, but just make sure that you use the brush that it comes comes with to keep it nice and clean on the inside. One of Facebook's earliest successes, Farmville, is no longer supported by Adobe. Farmville was a popular game more than 10 years ago and users tended to the digital fields and harvested fake vegetables. Adobe decided to kill Flash after it declined in popularity due to its difficulty running on mobile phones. If you ha still had money to use in the in-app in -app editions on Farmville, game maker Zynga says tough luck, it's not issuing refunds on that money. Well, Dana, we're saying goodbye to a popular app, but when will we say goodbye to this fog that's hanging around outside? We are holding on to the fog at least for a few more hours. How is Farmville 10 years old? That's crazy. Dense fog <laughs> advisories in effect until noon for us. We're expecting uh, the, the fog to really hang out. And again, it is dense fog for us right now. Visibilities have really been reduced throughout southern Wisconsin. On top of just having dense fog, we also are seeing some freezing fog in spots. So that's leading to some slick areas on any roads that may be untreated. Just something to keep in mind. You want to be a little careful if you're trying to get on the road early today. Now, our dense fog advisory expires at noon. Partly sunny skies expected later today will be partly sunny to start off the work week with our next chance for light snow coming in on Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you for watching.